The majority of it done anyway. We sit in the doctors. Always left arm. Why my left arm? Makes no difference. Just, that's just the way that you usually sat at a doctor's desk, isn't it? You notice when you sit at a doctor's desk, it's usually the desk's there and your arm's there. It makes no difference. If you're healthy, it makes no difference if you do left or right arm. It's as long as it's in line with your heart. If you lie down, you can take pressure from your legs. You've got a doctor. I compare blood pressure from legs to arms in my PhD. If you're healthy, it should be the same. If you're laid down, as long as you're on the same level, your heart's on the same plane as the um, part in which you're measuring your blood pressure, it doesn't matter where you take it from. So, the process of taking blood pressure works about turbulent flow. Normal blood running through your veins, you can't hear it. If you do that, it's not the sea. Of the blood. Okay? I like to think it's the same. Sometimes I just sit there. <laughs> I'm on the beach. I'm not, I'm not crying from doing that. I've just taken myself from the place. So, to measure someone's blood pressure, if we just listen to the arm, we're going to get some weird looks, and that's about it. We're going to know nothing about their blood pressure, other than the fact that you've probably raised it by that closeness and inappropriateness. To measure it scientifically, we need to make turbulent flow. <coughs> so what we do is we put a cuff, we've all had that cuff round our arm, haven't we? Squeeze into the point where you want to cry. Yeah? Is that hurting? No, oh, it's fine. Oh, I always talk this time. What they're doing is actually cutting off your blood supply to your arm. They are taking it to a pressure, usually 180 to 200 millimetres of mercury, so they've compressed your artery. Okay? No blood is flowing. And you want to know your highest blood pressure. Well, what happens is they slowly release it, don't they? Slowly release it, too slowly in my mind. And they're listening. What they're listening to is your brachial artery. You've got an artery that runs down there. Okay? They're listening to it. And at the minute, there's nothing coming through, so it's silent. And then at the highest pressure at which the blood can push through, and you feel it, don't you? You're like, whoa, 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 whoa. And you can feel that blood going through. But well, you can hear it as well. And it's called a corret cough sound. And the first point at which you hear that corret cough sound, that is the highest pressure in your system to push past the blockage. And because there's still compression on it, it's turbulent flow, so you can hear it. And then you keep listening until you've just got no compression now. The cuff's undone enough so that the artery's just, the blood's going through it normally. And you stop hearing that corret cough sound. Duh, duh, duh. That's your diastolic pressure. That's your low pressure that you can read. But that's how reading blood pressure works. Okay? So, but, naughty textbook. I told you, don't always believe what you read. If you gave me work like 